if you enjoy my content and if you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel and if you wish to receive notifications when I upload new videos, just click on the bell icon and then click all. Your support and comments mean a lot to me and I just wanted to say thank you again for sticking around. Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about to diagnose if I have any issues with bad injectors or bad wiring. This is a 2009 Volkswagen Golf 1.6 TDI. It's the CAYB engine which is 90 horsepower engine. It's creating a fault P0203 which means that there's a, an open circuit on cylinder 3. If you get P0201 means this is relating to cylinder 1, P0202 means obviously cylinder 2, P0203 as I said I have that fault for cylinder 3 which is right here. The cylinder numbers start from left to right so 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see I have disconnected the plugs. I'm gonna put my multimeter in the ohm. Uh, in the resistance function so I'm gonna measure the ohms on each one of these four injectors I have already checked the resistance on the number one which I know it's a hundred percent good so one two and four are working fine I got 201 kilo ohms it's quite hard to stabilize the pins but if I can get this to show you so it's stabilizing now it's gonna go up to about it went up to about 201 kilo ohms so yeah let's say that the spec for this is 200 kilo ohms I'm gonna do the same on number two I know number one is good similar reading on number two 200 kilo ohms number four I'm gonna skip on purpose number three because i know it's this is where the problem is again 200 kilo ohms so let's hope our problem is not with the wiring it's with the injector i think it's going to be a probably quicker solution may not be cheaper but it's going to be quicker so it's showing showing difference if I can put this properly here I'm getting about 8.6 ohms so clearly big difference and possibly the coil in this uh, injector is uh, gone so not possibly 99.9 um, .9 sure so this is our problem bad injector I hope you found this electrical injector test useful and I hope this helps other people who have the same issue. If you did find my video helpful, please leave me a comment and share your knowledge and experience. I know that specs may vary for the different makes and models and the different types of injectors. In this short video, I wanted to show you how I diagnose my problem and I hope you found this resistance test useful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time again.